So it says, um, John 3 and 6, it says, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So, you know, we're, like, um, what's, what's this one? How was your house? How was that? Your house said you knew us from the womb, man. Right, so I was here one. So he knows, yeah. he knows the spirits that are gonna, they're gonna receive this word. Right. So uh, those are the same spirits that are gonna be born again, man. Mm. Right. Uh, also, say, uh, yeah, it goes on to say, uh, Marvel, not that, that I said unto thee, you must be born again. It says, the wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but thou canst not tell where it's coming, mm -hmm. and whither it goeth. So is that everyone that is born of the Spirit. So like going back to, um, was it Romans uh, 10 and uh, eight, eight, uh, eight, eight, ten six, 16? 8 and 16. 8 and 16, so like, yeah. Yeah. where it says the Spirit itself. So it's all about the spirit. It's not about the it's not about the um the earthly thing that the problem's going into. It's about the spiritual thing. Right. right. Okay. Because right now we've been resurrected on a spiritual level. Okay? We've been, we've, we've risen from the dead on a spiritual level. Because we were dead. According to um Ezekiel 37. We were the valley of dry bones. We were dead. We were, we were dead, cut off from Yahweh, from Yahweh, cut off uh, from grace, so to speak. But through the grace and will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we received, we received the Spirit. We received the breath of life. Um, who's got uh, your the apocryphal? Well, what, what you got? Read, 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 read what you got. Yeah, read, read that, and then get your apocryphal. I say one more thing as well. Um, just like what you're saying about in the desert, in the wilderness, when uh, Moses went off into Mount Sinai, yeah, and you had um, the Israelites going off. Now, that's the same thing that's happening now. You know, they but they saw all the miracles back then, man. And, and, and back then, Yahweh had to just kill, uh, just basically purge them, them, them niggas. Yeah. That's what's happening now. There's a this is a purge, like so. The, the brothers out there doing this work. Yeah. You know, and we're, we're we're trying to get away from these other the, the, the other two, the two parts, man. Yeah. It's going to get destroyed, man. Yeah. And that's the same thing that happened back then. Okay. That's what I want to say. But this this is all on a spiritual level. And the Most has gone through a process where he's sealing the elect and sealing the two thirds. And you know, too, brother, if I may add into what he was saying, because you have two guys that survived the wilderness, Caleb and what, what what's the other guys? Joshua and Caleb. Caleb. Joshua. Joshua and Caleb. Yeah. To young young guys, because yeah. the older the older un, over twenties are to be wiped away. Yeah, they were wiped out. Can't. Well, <laughs> well, wiped out. So you've always had them left. Yeah. Joshua Caleb and, and that generation. Yeah. Right. The old the old generation they got wiped out. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're fixing their ways. Like same same like a lot of these. No, but a lot. Like they, when they get to a certain ages, they ain't changing, man. You know, my older, yeah, my, parents, ways. my parents' generation and stuff like that. Oh. Like that. They don't want to budge. Know? Okay, yeah. there's that old wine. Oh. Go, ahead, go ahead. It's at Psalms 119 and 9, and it says, Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Right, so yeah, that's, all. that's how we're, we're cleansing our way. We're cleansing our doings. Okay, our thoughts. Okay, I, would, um, I know there's a precept about how the thing, it's not the thing that, something that comes into you that purifies you, it yeah, comes out. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's, it's something to the effect of um, what the file of a man is, not what goes yeah, in, yeah, exactly. what comes out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's uh, the justification that they used to eat pork. That's not what oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. I was thinking of something. But anyway, um, give me your um, wisdom of Solomon. You've got a copy of it. Your wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. Can I get a copy of it? No, no. It's at Ephesians 5 and 26, and it says, that he might sanctify, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the worship of the water by the word. Right, sanctify means to make clean. Like I said, cleansing our way. All right. This is us being born again. Where our, the more Yahweh Shai was born to reprove our thoughts. And you know it's funny, right? Because you know the number three. The number three means also resurrection. You read that three times today. Oh, that's, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah, the spirit. Okay. 
That's right, because the Mosai, that's why I said we knew Jerusalem. Yes. Because we're being born again. Yeah. Because the Jerusalem that we are now is corruptible. It's been corrupted, it's been destroyed, man. Yes, it's sound desolate. Alright, the Most High has destroyed the nation, man, because of our sins. So the Most High, but the Most High has left the residue, mm -hmm. a remnant, according to um, Isaiah 1 verse 9, because of his mercy, for, he, for his name's sake. Alright, the Lord is going to redeem a, a remnant of his people, okay, for, for, for the covenant's sake, man, okay. Alright, that's what the Lord is going to do. Right, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Like I said, yeah, New Jerusalem. The word new means refresh or renew. That's right, man. What? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. What about that one about the Friday? Is that where we are? Yeah. That uh, one in Matthew about uh, what comes into the mount. Is it? Yeah, get, get that first, get that first. Now, Matthew 15 and 11, it says, Right at sort of 10, it says, that's death right there, man. That's what you call morbid or beast. That's death. Um. That is death, man. That's sort of 8, actually. It says, Matthew 15 and 8, it says, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but mm -hmm. their heart is far from me. It says, But in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines. Read a bit louder, read a bit louder. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but mm. that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Mm. Mm. Right, so your your works, if that's what that's what shows that you're defiled, no? And that's why we need to be purged from the inside. And you gotta be careful what you say as well. Yeah, that's what, says, what cometh out of a man, that shows what's really inside of you. Mm. Alright? So that's why we need to cleanse our way, all right? Because your works show what's inside of you, all right? Finish me. That's why the scriptures constantly talk about examining yourself. Okay? You need to examine yourself because we're not perfect. We're not naturally doing righteous things. It's, it's like a burden. You know, we're, we're trying our best to do righteous things. We're rehearsing. Okay? And when you're rehearsing, you're constantly checking yourself. You know, any, any brother that's ever did drama in school before yeah. and you're rehearsing a play, you constantly, you're, you're doing it and then you know you're going off and yeah. you look back at the script and you check yourself again then you redo it again huh. you're constantly examining yourself man huh. you fuck up a whole heap of times you know trying to memorize certain things you're, you're, you're kind of you know you're kind of rough on the edges you know what I'm saying huh. you might forget certain lines alright so that's what we're doing right now and that's why you know we're not we're not going to be saved by by none of this. It's really by grace. Wisdom of Solomon, seven verse twenty-four. It's our wisdom of Solomon seven and twenty-four, and it says, "For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes and goes through all motion, all things by reason of her patch of her pureness." He's talking about wisdom. Wisdom is more moving than any motion. All right? Because wisdom goes into everything. Prophecy, history, okay? Laws and commandments, parables, spiritual teachings, okay? Certain interpretations and breakdowns. Wisdom is, it moves into all aspects, okay, of, of, of learning. Uh, go ahead. That's why it says that the man of the Most High must be temperate in all things. You can't just be uh, uh, be temperate in in history. 
or temperate in the law. Well, that's why the ship is also saying that we've been given an option that we know of all things. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's got to have like a said, that's what's a striving for the masteries. Yeah. Go ahead. And it says, For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High. See, that's, ooh, that's, ooh, that's deep. Mm -hmm. Because it said, the, the, um, the brightness, read that part again. Also like, a, 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 I missed the verse. At verse 25, it says, For she is the breath of the power of the Most High, and, and a pure influence flowing, flowing from the glory of the Almighty. So wisdom is the very breath of the Most High. All right? That's really the main point, but I want to go into all of it. The very breath, because in Ezekiel 37, I was going to tell you to get that. In Ezekiel yeah. 37, we was dead. Okay? We was dead. We was in the grave. All right? The found among the dead. Mm -hmm. Told you that in Baruch, uh, chapter um, 5 or 4. And you did that in All right? Revelation 11. We were dead in our sins. All right? And not only we were dead, we were dead for a very long time to the point where all the flesh came off the bones, all right? And we were just bones, because what do you find in a grave? You find what bones? Mm -hmm. That's what you find in a grave, okay? But then what? The Moses, through the Moses' grace and mercy, he resurrected our remnant of us. That's, that's the brothers you see out here in the highways and byways, man. That's the brothers you see on the internet or GMS of Florida, GMS or uh, uh, Houston, GMS or uh, 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 Texas, GMS Dallas, or uh, 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 so, uh, GMS Jamaica, all right, Central London. Yeah, we also have GMS Holland as well, them brothers. Holland, yeah. all right. You have camps out there that are not really even affi affiliated with GMS, but they follow the teachings. Yeah. And then you also got GMS camps in South America too. You got GMS Peru, you got GMS uh, Mexico. Okay. Yeah. All right. You got a GMS camp in um, certain, certain parts of Africa too. All right. Yeah. You know? So, so the Most High is leaving that remnant everywhere. Yeah. The prophets are everywhere. And we're all working for science. That's part of the signs and wonders. The signs and wonders are the prophets. Okay? Rising up. Uh, signifying the end of this present world. All right, so it says that wisdom is the very breath of the Most High. So that's what's entered in to, to us, man. And you, know and, and you, brother, you got the precept. And resurrected us. Yeah, you got the precept. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, read the verse where it says the Spirit of life entered into it. Read that verse. The back of what he's saying. The revelations, isn't it? Is his verse? It should be. Um, yeah. Um, let me see. Let me see something real quick. Wow, and the breath entered into them. That's in Revelations, obviously. Okay. Revelation. Verse eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven and eleven. Yeah. Eleven, eleven. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah. Right, Revelation eleven, eleven. Says, and after three days and a, and and half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Three days and a half. It tells you on the fourth day. That's when how Shai rose. On the fourth day. So he was in the grave for that three days. So it tells you right there that we were dead for three and a half days. Ooh. I, 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 I never saw it like that, man. That's, that's, that's so, how you broke that down. On nearly the fourth day, that's when we rose. That's when the Spirit came into us and we came back from the dead. You see, because Yahweh Shai, he was put to death by the Romans. You, you got put there, you got put up on the, on the, um, the, the cross. You got, nailed, you got nailed to the cross, right? You got crucified. By the heathens, he got killed by the heathens, basically, the Edomites, the Roman Edomites, right? And that's why it says in, I believe it's in Hebrews 6, it says on the third day, you should be, um, you should live, and on the, what is not, you know, it says in, in, the, uh, in the second day, 
you shall raise up, and then the third day you shall live, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, that's, that's right. Okay, because right now in Ezekiel 37, uh, uh, you are dead. The other nations kill us, man. Okay, mm. they put us down into slavery and captivated us. All right, but well, we're coming back to life again. We're coming back to life. Are we done? I can't leave my screen. Yeah, I think because the water's got underneath the tree. Yeah. Steamed up, yeah? Is uh, it water? Steamed up? The water's, yeah, yeah, it's water. Oh, okay. The water's got underneath the, um, the, 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 the screen. That's what the screen is. Mm -hmm. That's the cover, isn't it? Can't oh, get to it, bro. That's what it is. Can you can't get No, I can't. I can't move. Uh, uh, Back to our wisdom of Solomon, our 7 and, 20, and 25, he says, For she is the breath, she, she is the breath of the power of the Most High, and the pure influence, influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Alright, so we're being influenced by the Most High. By us standing out here, we're, we're not being paid to do this. That, that pro, 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 no light. Popo light. And the rest of them other niggas that's been paid to do what they've been doing, man. They haven't, we haven't been set up by a man to do what we're doing. We've all been set up by the spirit of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. And every brother I personally and hope to believe that we're doing it because we fear the judgment of the Most High. We're not, we're not doing it because it's a fad or a trend. I can start to do. And to really to stand out here in the, in the rain like this, that's how you know brothers are into it, no? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. We're doing it because we fear the, the judgment to come. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, I got a quick piece of it, okay. Yes, yes, this is Hosea 6, verse 2. And it reads, after two days. Will he revive us in the third day? He will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Right. So that's showing you right there. Okay. So we're in the third day right now. Okay. Just to finish that one, it's moving. Right. Revelation 11 and 12, it says, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in the clouds and their enemies beheld them. Wasn't it the um the, the breath of life into them? That was that was um before that. that, read, read that, read that. that. Revelation 11, 11 after three days and a half the spirit of life from from Yahweh entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Right because the, the fear fell up the, them that saw us were the heathens. Yeah are the nations because they're the ones that put us into captivity. They're the ones that beat us, sold us into slavery, and did all kind of unspeakable evil to us. So when they saw us beaten down, they were thinking, yeah, there's no way that they can rise up. And then when they see us rising up on our feet, doing this, what we're doing, condemning them to slavery, great fear fell upon them because we're, we're reminding them about the things that they did to us and it's, and it's fucking up their conscience okay and then what did they say? It says, verse 12 and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and the enemies beheld it so what the brother just read is first a spiritual resurrection brothers rising up on their feet and prophesying against our enemies, condemning them to slavery and death in the war to come. All right, that's a spiritual resurrection. And then that, and then the part when you were beamed up into a chariot, that's the physical resurrection, man. Oh, oh. We're, being, we're, being, we're, we're being raised incorruptible. Oh. When we're being raised out of these dead mortal bodies, these dead mort mortified, these dead bodies, and then raised into immortal 
incorruptible bodies, man. That's the that's the physical, okay, resurrection from terrestrial to terrestrial slash celestial, okay, godlike bodies. Um, let's go, let's go back. Okay, back to uh, wisdom of Solomon, uh, seven and twenty-five says. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High, right. and the pure influence flowing from the from the glory of the Almighty. Right. Therefore, can therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. So no defiled thing can fall into this wisdom, knowledge, to understand it. That's why I said for the pure of of, of pure things. It tells you that in in so in, in so up, right. no? For the pure, all things are pure. Right. Okay. And that's in Titus. All right, for the, for the pure, all things are pure. But there's another one in Surat that says, for the pure, um, all, um, the pure are pure things, or something like that. I'm roughly paraphrasing, okay? So I said, no defiled thing can fall into them. Mm. All right? Because the scripture says that the, the words of the Most High are, are, are tried seven times. They, um, I think it's in Proverbs, it says, mm. they're pure, exactly, purified seven times. Mm. They meaning that it's, it's perfectly, Clean, man. This is, you know, it's perfect. Okay. Even says in Psalms that the law of the Most High is perfect. Okay. That's right. And 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 what does it say? Hold that right there. And give me on um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one. Hold that. Um, start from verse one. It's that Wisdom of Solomon one and one, and it says, Love righteousness. Yeah, ye, yeah, so that ye that be judges of the earth. Ye that be judges of the earth. Love righteousness. So that can't be Esau. You gotta be talking about us, man. Yeah, because Esau don't have love in him, and they don't have no righteousness in him. So how can he love righteousness? Doesn't make sense. Ye that be judges of the earth is talking about us. Because it says in um, 1 Corinthians that if that we're going to be able to judge as angels, man. Okay. So how can we? How can't we then judge the smallest of man? Well, it says also we that is spiritual judge, judge all things. things, right? But it says, think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek Him. Right, in simplicity of heart seek Him, man. Mm. All right. So that in itself is spiritual, but. He says, For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as such as do not distrust distrust him. Distrust him. So you gotta learn how to put your trust in the Lord. So brothers gotta learn not to be doubtful of the Lord to, to put your trust in him. Okay? And to lead a pure uh, um, a sincere life. Alright, go ahead. He says. For forward, for forward thoughts separate from the Most High, and His power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. Yeah. For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. That's the part that I want to give. He said, for, said, for into a malicious soul wisdom will not enter. Okay? Because if you go back to um, to, um there's, a, there's a guy that we once knew that was malicious. And we all know who he is. You know, he's in he's in uh you know the islands, you know, oh, that guy, that the islands, man. Right. Ain't doing the work worth for dying no more. You know? Because you just read that that no defiled thing can fall into wisdom. Because mm -hmm. to really to receive wisdom, you have to be of your pure mind. To receive uh the the lot um, the love of this truth. To receive this wisdom in order to understand it. That's why I said wisdom cannot enter into a malicious soul or someone that's subject unto evil, man. So Esau's out here, right? So Esau's, so exactly. Esau's, he's, he's not even a part of it. You know what I'm saying? You know, to right off the bat, right from the gate. Because that's what it, that's, it says on the parable. Of when the soul went out to sow, mm. and then the, the seed went into a guy, and then the, the fowls of the air took away that was sown. That, that was a, that was a malicious nigga, man. That was a nigga that he probably stopped by the camp. He says, "What are these niggas talking about?" 
Then he sees the guys talking about righteousness. He says, oh, fuck this, man. And he goes off, because that was a malicious soul. Mm. A guy that, uh, whose body was subject unto evil. That's why when the, the words of righteousness came near his brain, it couldn't enter in. Because he had the, the brain of a, of a stone. Mm -hmm. Where, he had a stony heart. Right. Uh, back to Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 26, and he says, For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High. The unspotted mirror of the Most High. The mirror, because what does a mirror do? It shows your image. Alright? So wisdom is like, is like the mirror of the Most High. <laughs> Okay. okay. And, the and it says the image of the image of his goodness. And uh, yeah. the image of his goodness. Wisdom is the image of the most high. So when that wisdom enters into us, we bear the image of the most high. And that's why when you read the book of Genesis, I believe it's chapter two, it speaks about how um like the um, what is it? The angels? They yeah, said um, yeah, yeah. they have created yeah, man yeah. in our image. Right, right, exactly. Because the man was gifted.